हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू माई सेल्फ संदीप वेदी अगेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टू डिलीवर अनदर वीडियो लेक्चर एंड आवर टॉपिक इज पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स सो पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू लेट्स डिस्कस फर्स्ट चैप्टर नेम ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट द दिस वर्ड पेयर पेयर मीन्स ऑलवेज गेट टॉकिंग अबाउट टू ओके इन पेयर मीन्स लीनियर we we'll discuss how to first I'm telling you the equation, equation any algebraic equation which we are putting in the form like ax is equal to zero. Equal, equating sign is coming, so that part we are calling equation means any algebraic equation which we are equating with the zero or equating with any other algebraic expression, so that complete expression we will call equation afterwards equation variables you know we are always we are dealing with the constants and variables so variables whose value is varies accordingly so it can be a b c x y any it can be but variables can be any x y always it's not necessary that we will take x only it's not mandatory thing that always we have to take x as a variable no it's your choice but we have to mention this we are taking as a variable a to z we can take any one else so variables now linear linear means equation means equation all are the equation like x square plus 2x is equal to 0 this is also an equation x plus 5 is equal to 0 this is also an equation so what is the means of linear 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 means we are talking about the whose power is 1 okay whose degree of an equation is 1 so we are talking about the linear equation means this is not our part in this so first main part is we are talking about the linear equation and the second part pair pair of linear equation means we will deal with the two linear equations Line equation, I told you about, and linear also, you know. Now, pair of linear equations means we will deal in this topic in this chapter two linear equations, and in two variables. In two variables means we can use x y, we can use y z, p q, q r s, q s. It's it's our choice, but. Suppose in question, if you will see, then according to the question we have to solve. So two variables. We will deal with the two variables. Now I am telling you the standard pair of linear equation in two variable. First I am telling you the pair of sorry linear equation in two variable. A x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. This is an equation. Okay. This is linear. This equation is linear. Equation also in variable two variables x and y. So then, what if x and y are the variables? Then what is a b c? A b c is any real number. We can say constant and real constant, real number, any real number or constant. This is linear equation in. two variable only linear equation in two variable now our topic is pair of linear equation so first you see this x and y are the variables together one condition is there a square plus b square cannot equal to 0 here only i am telling you what is the means of this a square plus b square is equal to 0 means what is the logic here means both cannot be zero Either a can be zero or b can be zero, but together a and b will not equal to the zero. If a and b will both equal to the zero, then this equation will not be the linear equation in two variables. Means either a can be zero. This equation we can write zero x plus b y plus c is equal to zero or a x plus zero y plus C is equal to zero. It means here you see this is b y plus c. 
Now this equation in single variable, but in two variables we can write in this form. This equation is also in single variable, but e x plus c is equal to zero, but we can write in the form two variable form. But one main part you notice here that a x plus zero y plus c is equal to zero means this is zero. Then why we are writing? If it is zero, then what is the use of? Suppose if you want to if you want to show this equation in the form of two variable, then we can write. But here, suppose something is given in the question. A x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. Then a square plus b square will not equal to the zero. Means together both will not equal to the zero. There is square means suppose a in zero and b in zero. Then definitely there is square will be equal to the zero. And suppose a is one and b is zero, then there is square, sum of their square will not equal to the zero. Meaning of this part is only this together a and b will not equal to the zero. This you keep in your mind. Now I am coming to our main topic: pair of linear equation in two variables. Pair of linear equation in two variables. So the standard form. You note down the standard form of pair of linear equation in two variables. The standard form is this: a one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero. a two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero. Now I am telling you, pair means two equations. Linear equation, you see, the maximum power of variable is one only. Two variables x y x y. Now what is the a one b one c one a two b two c two? All are real numbers, and they are the coefficient of x, coefficient of y, in this case also. So what we will write? Where a b a one b one c one a two b two And C two are real numbers. Are real numbers. And one more important condition: a one square plus b one square is not equal to zero. And a two square plus b two square is also not equal to. Zero means what is the means what is what is the means of these two conditions? Just now I told you that the sum of these square sum of these a one square plus b one square will not equal to zero. It means together a one b one will not equal to the zero. A two b two will not equal to the zero. So this is the standard form of pair of linear equation in two variable. Note down this standard form of pair of linear equation in two variable. Now we will discuss few algebraic conditions, their ratios. So first you note down up to here. As we have discussed, this these two are the pair of linear equation in two variable. So, if I will go in the graphical way, graphical representation of linear equation, so definitely we will see that uh, in graph two lines can be means intersecting means these two lines can in, are intersecting at point. Means we lines are parallel. Maybe. One line is coincident on the another line. See, apart from these three conditions, maybe you will not found once you try. Definitely, you will not found that maybe line means suppose these two are the line. These two lines are there. Maybe in graph they can intersect. They can be parallel. And they can be on another in same line. So means one method how we will get to know 
the given equation means suppose one question is given two pair of linear equations are given then how we will get to know lines are intersecting or parallel or coincident one method is you draw graph of those linear equations we will discuss also about the graph but in next lecture but in this i am directly i am telling you one method is this we will draw it's too much time taking yes time taking work that how we'll get to the know that lines are parallel or not so we will draw in graph another point we can check by the coefficient ratios means we can check we can by comparing the ratios suppose first condition and telling you first condition a1 upon a2 what is the a1 upon a2 the ratio of the coefficient of x a1 upon a2 which is not equal to b1 upon b2 means the ratio of a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 that and definitely lines will be intersecting lines will be intersecting means if lines are there they will intersect at a point and if two lines will intersect one time afterwards they will never meet again so and this intersecting point will be our solution at which the value of x and value of y will be our answer means solution of this equation so means if lines are intersecting one time then definitely only single answer we will get only single answer and single answer is coming it means means the solution is unique we are not discussed still the graphical method so before that i am telling you this part afterwards by the graphical method because why i am telling you at first means before drawing on the graph you will get to know that which type of equations will come that's why this part i am telling you at first in your book this part is coming at the second in second phase so lines are intersecting if condition directly without drawing on the graph i am telling you if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 lines are intersecting and the solution is unique solution is unique so a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 they they will intersect on the plane we are talking about only on the plane not in three dimension suppose in three dimension many conditions are there to one line is here one line is here maybe they are not parallel also they are not intersecting also not coincident we are not talking about the 3d we are talking about on the plane means on a one single plane line can be intersecting parallel or coincident on the single plane only these three possibilities are there not other than these three possibility so the first part a1 upon a2 is not equal to the b1 upon b2 so the line will be intersecting means definitely they will intersect and one thing you know one point you know if line intersected then they will never meet again so the solution solution is unique afterward no need to note down this part first you try to understand afterwards on your screen you will see one table that table complete you note down so once you see no need to write in between a1 upon a2 is not equal to the b1 upon b2 lines are intersecting and the solution is unique means one time solution will come means only one time lines are meeting each other it means only the one single coordinate is there who is satisfying both the equation means from this point x1 comma y1 suppose from this point both the lines are passing and our solution meaning is this only means any point which is satisfying both the equation any point single point which is satisfying both the equation that is our solution so the single point is here this point which is satisfying both the equation that will be our solution of these two pair of linear equation in 
two variable. Now, first condition, and now the these two pair of linear equation we will say consistent means they are giving solution. So we will call them consistent pair of linear equation means solutions is also coming consistent pair of linear equation. So first this is algebraic representation lines are intersecting or not geometrical and the type of solution unique and the consistency consistent now the second phase suppose suppose a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 this is the situation in which lines will be parallel lines will be lines will be parallel means two lines will come and the lines will parallel it means that they will not meet never ever parallel lines all of you know about the parallel lines parallel lines will never intersect each other so just now we have discussed the means intersecting lines are intersecting at single point so solution is coming unique they are not intersecting then definitely you are thinking right no solution they are not intersecting so then why solution will come if line there is no single coordinate which is satisfying both the equation there is no single point which is satisfying both the equation so in this case ratios comparing ratio condition is this lines are parallel geometric conditions types type of solution no solution and the consistency pair of linear equations are inconsistent pair of linear equations are inconsistent solution is not giving that's why now the third condition a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 now if suppose the ratios are coming equal all three ratios are coming equal then definitely those two equations we will call co inside means coincide coincide equations coincide means what is the meaning of coincide means suppose one equation is this other will come on the same means the lies on each other the equations are lies on each other we don't know this is small this is bigger no here i'm showing by the help of these arrows here two lines are there otherwise it is not necessary we will make here we can make afterwards also means lines are coincide means one line is this on another same lines means lines are same we can also say lines are same then can you tell me at how many points they are intersecting you know you see at every part they are intersecting means infinitely many solutions are there at infinite points they are intersecting each other at infinite points they are intersecting each other then definitely the solution is also infinite many solutions so they are intersecting at infinite intersecting starting first condition intersecting line they are intersecting at one point parallel they are not intersecting and this condition they are intersecting at infinite points so the solution is infinitely infinitely many solutions there are infinitely many solutions and uh, now about the consistency they are dependent and consistent dependent the conditions you will see directly they are not consistent they are giving infinitely many solutions 
but they're dependent why dependent and consistent because you know we can calculate the value from one equation only solutions but dependent means what value we are placing of any one single variable and what we are getting of another variable that's why we are calling dependent and consistent first was consistent second was inconsistent third was dependent and consistent all the conditions now in front of you you see and now you pause your video and note down all the conditions these conditions are very important and you know for mcqs type questions are also very important so you note down this is our basic part of related to the pair of linear equation in two variable so you all students you note down